stellate the dodecahedron, let's go here to the greater maze, that if we stellate the dodecahedron, here's a dodeca, icasa, and an outer dodecahedron, this stellation of the dodeca, icasa, dodeca is such that we have this edge length ratio 0.618 and then the stellation is 1.0, the icasa 1.618, and this stellation, again, edge straight out, is 2.618. So you have this perfect embedding, which is simply a crisscross of all waves based on golden mean ratio, so they can all add and multiply. This is the geometry of DNA, Earth grid, and zodiac, we believe, perfect embedding, and they may relate to the City of Revelation models, the foundation stone of theosophy. And yet, it's simply a model of perfect implosion. So, in the discussions about how the genetic material may in fact create something superluminal, this three-dimensional shape, dodecahedron, it's, it's, uh, in two dimensions it would look like Betsy Ross's drawing of stars within stars. It's the pentagonal star. And in that symmetry, the adding and multiplying of waves going to center can constructively interfere infinitely. And that's, we believe, the model of perfect compression, perfect implosion.